Split Focus from the 2P Project. How are you doing, everybody? I don't know how many people watch this channel, but whatever. It's going to be awesome. Today, we are going to the VGCC Waterloo Video Game Swap in um, Waterloo, Ontario. And today, actually, we always go to the swap and we do... Um, we buy stuff, and then we do videos afterwards. Well, today we're taking a little bit of a different approach. Um, I am going to be selling stuff. So, here are some of the stuff I'm selling. Um, not this. I got a Mario guy in there. Um, and then I got some, um, I got a crystal Xbox there that has to go. I got some other stuff in here. And a box of games that are hopefully will go. I'm just trying to clear out some of my collection so I can make room for some more stuff. Uh, I don't normally sell my stuff, but um, I just thought, you know what? I got a bunch of stuff. I'm just going to give it a shot see how fun it is. I'm just doing it for the fun, so I don't really care if I don't make any money today. Uh, so it doesn't matter to me. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that do, so I'm not going to try and step on anybody else's toes that are at the video game swap. I'm just going to do my thing. Um, so, the other thing we have on the go here, uh, this is our... Awesome area where Pokey Chan was making her stuff for the video game swap. There's my float, which is kind of cool. Um, these are the deals that we're having today, uh, but obviously you won't be there to see. Um, and then Timmy, sitting over here, he's my helper. He's going to be helping me at the table today, and then he's going to get his own stuff. And I think Naomi's in the back. So what we'll do is I'll uh, record when we get on the road. We're going to stop for some McDonald's or something. I don't know, I'm kind of hungry. Uh, and then, um, yeah, so I'll start recording when we get there and see what... When things go down. Okay. Anyway. What are you doing? Hiding <laughs> something. <laughs> um, so we're on our way to the video game swap now. So we're just driving through the countryside right now. And over there, we've got our box of games in the back seat. With um, Timmy. Timmy. Checked in our games. Got something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I recorded them earlier. I showed Did them. Did you? Yeah. Oh. But I didn't really explain what they were. They're Cooper Mate. <laughs> it's all trademarked. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really trademark it, I guess. But uh... oh, there's a farm. Look at that. Look at all that hay. The hay bales. <laughs> I don't know, so here we are just chilling at the table. Um, they just opened the door, so hopefully we'll see a few people come by. Um, yeah. It's blurry. So, this is what's left over so far. <laughs> So the PS2 games aren't selling like we, we anticipated. Um, we knew they weren't going to sell. Uh, but they are selling. They're sort of kind of slowly. Um, the rest of the stuff is doing okay. So, there we go. Okay. So, uh, Look at Everything over here falls into uh, this category. Oh, I got a Pikachu sticker. And then this is $50. And he got a substitute plushie. What the heck? And why do you have so many stamps on your hand? Because I kept that one wore out and the guy was just like, bum, bum, there, won't have to get it. <laughs> so here you go. We're like in the left oh. corner of this thing, so I can do like this. Yeah. Oh, just wait one moment. So here you have it. And here we are with Timmy's wallet that he got. That's cool. She beats. And over there, they're having some video game competitions. They were having some Tetris a little while ago. I, now I people are playing like Super I Mario and I entered uh, Super Smash. 21 Mines. I was horrible. <laughs> you entered? Yeah, I entered and I did horribly. Oh. Well, you know what? At least you entered, right? Yeah. I, d I didn't even enter. <laughs> if Darren entered, he would have got 10,000 mines. He probably would have won. So, yeah. So, there you have it. He would have beat everybody. And we're next to these. All this. See? Okay. Now. I'm going to stay tuned, I guess. Oh, and here's my Google me. Okay. Here it is, Resident Mina. Our mascot for today. <laughs> and Pokechain. Hello. Um, 
part of the 2P project and our kitchen. Mm -hmm. Um, I am the one, one of the 2Ps. <laughs> In the PP project. <laughs> <laughs> so her hair is looking a little uh, scraggly, but I that's don't okay. I don't care. It was a long day, okay? <laughs> it was a long day, and we got uh, quite a bit of um, stuff. Quite a bit of stuff, um, and I practically spent no money. And she spent how much? She spent mm, like a hundred and fifty-five dollars. Well, hundred and sixty, but it was five bucks to get in, so I don't really know if that counts. Yeah. So. The basically the way we're looking at it is technically she didn't spend any money either because I made a bit of money. Um, so basically we all just spend all the profit on whatever it is we got here. So it's kind of cool. Um, so technically you could say we went in with zero dollars and came out with lots of stuff. Which is kind of awesome because now for the next swap, um, I know that I don't need to bring any money. Which is kind of cool. Well, you still need your float. Yeah, well, okay. I need my float. But. And, and you need cool stuff so you can trade with people. Yeah, that's you. But I was just in that. But yeah, the vending, the whole vending experience. And I need to make more Goobermen. Yes, Goobermen. Oh, the Goobermen were a big sale today. Well, sort of, kind of. They were, they were a slow start, but then people started to see them and they, they liked them. <laughs> yeah, so they liked them. She's got one commission. Yeah, I've got to contact the guy and figure out what's going on with that. I don't even... I'm nervous. <laughs> I've never done a commission of any sort before, so... That'll be kind of cool. Anyway, so we're going to get on with uh, showing you our notable finds today. And uh, hopefully... with my hair is all over the place here, too. Um, yeah. So, here we go. Go. Am I going? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't go click. No, it doesn't because you have it on mute. Anyway, I didn't go looking for any video games. I don't know. I just don't really want any video games right now, I'll tell you the truth. I did buy one. Well, two, but one wasn't for me. So, here we go. Here's my finds. Okay, number one find. I found a bead art guy. Um... He's from that bubble game. I thought I saw him from from at our table, and I really liked him, so I went over and got him. Next is Tugapi. He's another one. They all have magnets on the back. See, magnet, magnet. And size reference? Oh, size. Oh, here's my hand. See, Can't see? it's big hand, big hand, big hand. So if this guy fits in my hand like that, and this guy doesn't fit in my hand, it takes up my entire hand. It's a big. Mm -hmm. Mix. They're Pokemon. They're called Pokemon Kings. Here's Latias. There's Zor Ark. Munchlax. I got that for one for Elliot. Minch. He likes Minch. And then there's Mudkeep because everybody likes Mudkeeps. And then I got his final form of uh, Swampert, and he's getting a Mega. Which looks kind of cool. And there's Maltres because he looks kind of cool. And show us how they work, Pukitin. Well, I don't know if they're supposed to work like this, but they fit on your finger. See? <laughs> so, and I'll, I'll talk put about her finger prices. Up their butt. This guy was $4 by himself. This guy was was five four dollars on his own, but he came in a set of three. Like, not I, I bought three and it was three for $10. It was a better deal. You'll find see those other three later. And then these guys were uh, three for five bucks. They were three dollars on their own. So I thought, well, three for five is a much better deal. So I got, I got six. Okay. <laughs> and then, what? Where are we going here? Her. I'll go this way. I got a Super Mario keychain. That's cool. I saw it and I'm like, oh, I have to have that. Because you cannot, like, it's so cool. It is cool. And then I got this, and that was like three dollars. This was two dollars. Um, I have a copy of this, but I was silly and I left it in my one bag, and I bent the cover, and then I was like, "Damn it!" So I bought this one for two dollars because it's like super awesome, better condition than mine. And then back here you have this man, which was like eight dollars. He he's a uh, Apparently in the legit but second hand Banpresto plushie Eevee. He has a really fluffy tail 
and a fluffy neck thingy. And look at that fish. It's so cute. And he's from 2006. And then over here is Lugia. I think this is my first Lugia plushie ever. And he's from like 2009. He's also legit. See, he's Bam Presto. Bam Presto. Yay! He was like $10 or something. Okay, and there is the big plushy man. See my hand? He's really big. Here, size reference up to my face. What's a pillow? It's a pillow. But he's got these crunchy things in his eyes. I don't know why. And in his nose things. <laughs> but he's super, super, super tough. One moment, please. <laughs> 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 he's just super soft. Oh, and he has this little tag. Well, not really little, but... Yeah, that's that's far from little. But, see, it's New Year 2014. So hmm. not that old. No, but it will be. <laughs> <laughs> well, as time goes on. And then Sayer says, for sale in Japan only. No, it's too but blurry. But this is stupid, because it says, for sale in Japan only, but then it says, made in China. <laughs> <laughs> and notice how it's all it's English here and it's English here but the rest of it's Japanese yeah oh, except for New Year 2014 what are they called bootlegs that apparently come from China or Hong Kong but these are made in China so do they come from the same place dun 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 <laughs> <laughs> who knows anyway what's next so next is these guys uh, they're little, they're, they're also kids, Pokemon kids. This guy's really, he's a big guy. He kind of looks funny. I, I look, was looking at him on the back of the box here. I'll show you the boxes. See, there's the box. Like these. There's Mega Mewtwo Y, and then here's Mega Mewtwo X. And there's his box, his, and his band of Merry Mame. And there's a Pikachu. Yay! And then there's this uh, big Mame. He's regular Mewtwo. And there's the sets that they come in. There's Even Tall, it's a Mega Mewtwo Y guy. And then there's this guy that I got. And then there's Hydreigon. And if you look here from the front, he doesn't look so bad. But when you look from the side, like, like it looks like some sort of salute to me. I don't know about <laughs> the rest of you. <laughs> so there's the other side. So apparently you're not supposed to eat this. It's a choking hazard. So don't eat these toys. <laughs> Next. Next is this guy. I did buy this game. This was the one I got for me. I wasn't even looking for it, but I have all the Kingdom Hearts in English, but I don't have any in Japanese. So this is my first ever Kingdom Hearts Japanese game. Inside is complete. And I bought it for 20 bucks, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Pretty good price. Um... There's the manual. And then here is... There, there's Chain of Memories. It comes with Chain of Memories. And it also comes with Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. And she was saying earlier when she got that, she was like, Oh, I'm never going to be able to play this. But I said, what if we get a PlayStation 2 that's from Japan? Yeah. We might be able to play it then, right? Mm -hmm. This whole entire case is really shiny. Like, look at shiny... Can you see that, people? And shiny. And even on the side right here, see the shine? It's like really, really shiny. And then the, the discs are really, really shiny. It's just so shiny. So that's all of my stuff. Well, sort of, kind of. I got a um, Motion Plus adapter thing for right over there. It came with the, the little, see, the thing that goes over top the Wiimote. I got for, as you can see, $5. I figured we have a Wiimote, an old one that doesn't have Motion Plus built into it. And I figured for 5 bucks I get the case, the cover thingy, and the adapter. I thought it was a pretty good deal. There was another one there I could have bought, but I thought, no, I only need win, so. Um, so this is what I got today. And it's got a bit of a dent on the back, but that's okay. This was actually one of the single awesome things I got today one of the best things and I was sitting back and Poke Chan and her brother who were helping me vent today were marching around trying to look for stuff and then they came back and they said Elliot we'll look after your booth if you want to go and look 
So I went around and looked and I couldn't find anything. Um, I did find some stuff, I'll show you in a moment, but this, I found these, and the price tag said 175 bucks. And I looked at myself and I went, there's no way I'm spending 175 bucks to buy these. Uh, I had Poke Chan walk over to the guy, see if he wanted to trade anything. I said the guy could have anything on my table, and I'll trade him for this. So that's what we did. I gave him a couple games, I think I gave him Star Ocean... Um, the Mizu whatever thing that hmm? Musashi yeah Musashi game there's something else um, something Vandal else Vandal Hearts Vandal Hearts yes so those three games there we go awesome so I gave him those three games a couple ColecoVision games and there was some other stuff he took too but whatever it doesn't matter plus $50 um, and I got this so rather than me spending $175 I whittled it down to about $50 and he took some stuff from my table which I didn't really care about because I got such a cool Vincent. So I can't really see it. There's a lot of glare. There yeah, we go. There we go. So this is supposed to be the metallic limited version edition of um, Vincent. There's his gun. Yeah, you can see. I, oh, it fell out. Yeah, it did fall out. So his his gun was supposed to be up here, but it's down here now. <laughs> And he had something up here, but it's down there somewhere now. Damn it! So, no, it's in there. It's his hand. Because that's his hand. He's pointing. Yeah, so there's... I'm supposed to be up here more. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> there's some stuff in there that's fallen out of the thing. I don't want to move it around too much, but whatever. He looks really cool. Yeah, he does. So it's kind of fallen all over the place in there. I would, I would pull it out and fix it, but... It's sealed. The stupid thing is sealed. And if I cut I that can't seal... See it. Wait, mommy. Can I see the seal? Yeah, there it is. There's the seal. So, no big deal. I mean, I can cut it open well, and, and fix it later. But... Show everybody the ball. Anyway. So, this is all in English. I don't know why. We don't know why. It was a uh, Tokyo Game Show exclusive, so maybe that's why it's in English. I mean, Tokyo Game Show, everybody goes to that. In the wake of the epic battle so, between Sephiroth uh, and Cloud. Two years. Um, but anyway, blah, that's blah, kind blah, of blah, cool. Blah. But then you also have some stuff down down here in Japanese or whatever. Candy. I don't know what they call it. Square Enix. Um, is English. And yeah, so this is kind of cool. They, it also comes in, in a set of three, so I got the third one. So I'm only missing the Rufus other two now. So I should try and get the other two. Was Rufus and Yuffie. Yeah. Rufus and Yuffie. So that's those guys. Okay, so that's the awesomest thing in the collection today. See, and it says right there, what does it say? Metallic collection yeah, thing. Yeah, metallic version. Can you mm -hmm. see that, people? Yep. So the other stuff I got here are a bunch of Mega Man toys. Oh. So we'll just pull them all out so there you guys can see. Okay. So I don't know what each of these guys are called. I did hear when I was walking around with these in my cane, um, someone called them... One of them, Proto, Proto Main. Um, I don't know which one that is, though. So, anyway. So, these are all the Mega Man figures. And I'm. So, he has no idea other than. That they're cool. <laughs> this guy, I think, is Mega Man. Yeah, and I think this guy's Mega Man, too. And I think that guy's Mega Man, but he's yellow. And this guy's Mega Man. That guy's Mega Man. And this guy, I think. This is Enemy Mega Man. Oh. This is Zero, or Base. I think. Yeah, that, and then, um... I don't know who these guys are. This is the other guy, Zero or Base, one of those guys. Um, but I don't know the rest of these guys. That guy looks like Boba Fett right there. Yep, Boba Fett, okay, Boba Fett main. And this looks like, uh, Viper main. He looks like a Cobra. Cobra main. Okay, Cobra main, and this is Lightning main. Or Flash main. And that guy looks like he has an eye on his head. And this is, uh, Dual Gun wielding main. He looks like... And this guy will main. be, I don't know... Thundercats man, I guess. Uh, okay, two other things I got. Poke Chan no. found these guys. Uh, I love Luigi. I have a lot of Luigi stuff, so this we're just gonna add this to the collection. Luigi. Everybody likes Mario, but I like Luigi. So here's Luigi. I also have. I found Luigi over here um, in another. Uh, Value Village. Yeah, Value Village. Okay, so there's Luigi. That's cool. That was one of the three. Yeah, so part of that deal that Poke Chan got. Um, and she also found me a Raphael, which was kind of cool. I almost uh, called him Leonardo. Ra <laughs> Raphael is my um, favorite. Uh, favorite Ninja Turtle. A little bit of a story. Poke Chan had a chance to buy a shirt that had all these Ninja Turtles on it, and she uh, didn't buy it for me. So I, I thought it was too cute, and you'd be like, no, I'm a man. I don't wear cute shirts like that. <laughs> but... 
Okay. Oh, there was a guy today who was wearing like um, a squirtle, and it said Teenage Mutant Ninja Squirtles. It was oh, yeah? cool. It was a cool shirt. Okay. Uh, so, so a question for you. Question for you. If your favorite color is red, why do you not like Mario? Because Mario's red. Because Mario's stupid, and Mario's pop culture, and I don't like Mario, so take that, people. Okay, the other thing we got, I think this is kind of cool, Vivi. It's Vivi. Yeah, Vivi from Final Fantasy IX. His hands are over here, so they're just chilling there beside him so I don't lose them. Um, <laughs> and I didn't really get this, so Naomi and I are going to sh share this uh, together. So we're going to put it in the shelf room. Looks like he's reaching into the camera. Yep. So we're going to put it in the shelf room. And, uh, well, the shelf the game room, Sorry, whatever. So he's being held up by this thing back there, because... And it's going on the shelf. Yeah. yeah, he's got a little wire thing. Guess how much he was, guys. He was only $5. That, that's not a guess. You didn't give him a chance to guess. Well, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> okay, anyway, so there's that guy. So his hands are just chilling there on the side, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, the last thing, or well, one of the last things I got was, uh... You guys have heard of um, the NES Nintendo Quest or whatever uh, that um, has uh, Jay Bartlett and all them. Um, so this guy's going across the country or across North America to get uh, as many Nintendo games as he can uh, in 30 days. And so he was again at the swap. So we have the first poster that he gave us. And this is the newest poster that they have. I like and this one. He did sign uh, my paper again, so that's kind of cool. The most unofficial and unauthorized Nintendo documentary ever. Yeah, so he's kind of cool. <laughs> um, and, um, Who's that guy he's with? In that that's place? Rob McCallum, so that's the director of, of, the, uh, of the show. A film by Rob McCallum. Let me focus in on that. Yeah. There we go. Are oh. you game? I'm game. I'm game for that. Okay, so that's cool. And now one of the last things is, okay, so we've come across... Um, this thing a couple times now, and we haven't taken an opportunity to buy it, um, simply because I always thought it was too expensive, and to tell you the truth, I wasn't really interested in buying the whole thing, I just wanted one particular piece from this. So I'm going to show you what we got, and you'll probably guess what exactly it is I wanted out of this. <laughs> um, this is called the Fallout 3... Where'd the plastic thing go? Lunch thing. Um, lunch thing. It's for the PlayStation 3. We got the PlayStation 3 version because I don't like Xbox 360. Now, what ended up happening is I picked this up at a yard sale. Was it a yard sale? No, you got it from that guy from the, the buddy you know that goes to Fanshawe. Oh, okay. So I got it from a buddy I know <laughs> that goes to Fanshawe. Whoever you used to trade games with him. Oh, Carl. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I got it from Carl. Now, I got this one from Carl. It doesn't come with anything. Just came with the tin. He gave me a nice trade. I Why did you not use that today for your money? Because I'm stupid. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> we ended up using a cart. Okay? And so, this goes over here. Okay, so this was the, the plastic thing that was on it. That's cool. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm putting it on here, though. Because... You okay, don't use that one. Yeah. But then I realized that a bobblehead is supposed to come with that thing. And I went, I want the freaking bobblehead. So we've seen the bobblehead a couple times. Poke Chance saw it in a sealed version of this at one of the swaps. But we didn't get it because it was 60 bucks. So she said, next time, Elliot, next time I'm going to buy this for you. And so next time came around and she bought it. And when we popped it open, it comes with the game, which is kind of cool. It's complete. It comes with the... Um, There's a soundtrack. Yeah, it's a soundtrack. Or the making Here. of Fallout 3, actually. Here, let me... Okay, cool. Yeah, What's it's on the making, back? It's the making of Fallout 3. They call it the VDSG holiday. You're gonna ruin it, aren't you? Let me see. Oh. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So that's the CD. Um, and then it also comes with an art book. That we will... I'm trying to scoot over here so I can... An art book. That we can just cycle through real quick. You got ruining. Oh, look at that cow! It had two heads. Yeah, so this is an awesome art book. It's kind of cool. Um, so that's what came with that as well. And last but not least, the all I ever wanted bobblehead main. 
He yeah. is so cool. He is the epitome of Fallout 3. When you play the game, and if anybody knows about this game, they know they have to collect the bobbleheads to be cool. Well, to actually upgrade your stats. And I've always wanted bobbleheads. Apparently now they're making all the bobbleheads, and he's actually bobbling pretty good. He is. But they're making the bobbleheads um, for each skill, and you can actually buy them. I think you can buy them in sets, eh? Remember? We, yeah. We were looking on eBay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm starting my bobblehead collection, and this is the number one. So I'm going to get all of them. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get them all, but I'm going to get them all. So let's just shake his head one more time. Bobblehead man, are you interested in having some friends? He says no, but I'm Wait. saying yes. <laughs> There. Yes, he's interested in having bobblehead friends. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I was going to open up the boxies. So I'm going to open these on camera because why not? Elliot's just sitting there like, why the hell are we doing this? <laughs> okay, so inside... Excuse me! What the hell? Inside here, you get the little mane. He looks fat! Yeah, he's a little kitty squished. See? But he's just like the other guys. He fits on your finger. How do you de-squishify him? Why does your finger always have to go up his butt? Because there's a hole in the bottom. <laughs> it's not a hole in his head. Or in his stomach. It's in his bottom. <laughs> but see, he's pretty cool. Oh, and inside you get a little sticker that looks like the front. See? Okay, you mean. There's the sticker. And you also get a candy. Candy man! Why do they give candies? I'm not sure, but they give them in all these things, so... Maybe I'll get a supremely big one with the big Mewtwo. So the reason why... I don't think I explained why I got the... little The Mega Mewtwo in the tiny versions. And then the Mewtwo re regular in the big version is because... I thought having the big Mewtwo guys original... And then having the little Mega Mans, like his... Minions. It's Mewtwo and his little mega minions. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I think it's she's crazy. Almost like I don't know. These are his offspring or something. So there's Mewtwo Y. They're gonna have more offspring, the more she fix her singer up their butts. What the heck? <laughs> Violation! 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 <laughs> and inside again we have a sticker. That's just like the front of the box, but smaller. And again, we have a candy. Because who doesn't love candy? That makes no sense. <laughs> Why the hell do they give candy? I don't know. There must be a reason. Excuse me? Always like, oh, keep it the box, because if you want it for collection. So here we go. Here's the big Mewtwo man. Oh, see, you can move his arm. So it's up like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. Fist bump. Uh, oh, that looks a little worse than a fist bump. That looks like I don't even want to do the <laughs> imagery like me do it. But you can. Oh, he's pretty cool. He's anyway, put his arm down. That's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just like. <sighs> he's like. Excuse me. <laughs> he's like ninja. <laughs> so he moves sorta. He twists a bit. I think his tail. Yeah, his tail moves. Oh, and don't forget, there's another candy! Oh, yay, but this one doesn't come with a sticker. No sticker, because you already get an awesome big Mewtwo. So here's Mewtwo and his little Mega Minions. Ta da! Mewtwo and the Mega Minions! Split focus and Pokechair from the 2P Project! We are.